of today. It's so pretty. Yeah, it is so nice, but things are going to change. We've got some smoke coming in uh, that's going to impact yeah. the end of the week. So I hope you've enjoyed the last couple of days because some changes are definitely on the doorstep. Let's first start out with Cache Valley, Utah State University, Blue Skies and Logan. Kind of nice, still a little bit of smoke in the air, but the bottom line is that little haze, it does get thicker over the next couple of days because of an airflow shift, a pattern flow that's going to transport in some Idaho and northwestern smoke into the state of Utah. I'll have more details in just a minute. Hey, football officially kicks off tomorrow. Utah, Southern Utah University up at Rice Eccles on the Hill, 7 o'clock kickoff. You couldn't ask for nicer conditions. Mostly sunny skies, 76 for kickoff. Fourth quarter in the 60s under clear skies and a little bit of haze and smoke in the air will probably be the only issue, but so fun to have football back and going. BYU and Utah State will be kicking off this weekend, so we'll have all those forecasts for you coming up in the next couple of days. Outside right now, whew, 86 in both Salt Lake and Ogden, 88 right now in Provo, 90s in Moab. A few clouds starting to pop up on some of our southwestern or southeastern Utah cameras. That's connected to a little low that's skirting through New Mexico and headed over into Colorado. But our flow change is coming because of this low pressure, which is riding along the U.S.-Canadian border. This little frontal boundary that's working its way through Utah it's going to flip the temperatures and drop them a couple of degrees, but it is going to put us into a bit of a northerly, northwesterly flow behind this front. That's what's going to transport the smoke. The storms to the south, they're not coming to visit. They're going to curl off and go around this big area of high pressure. But we are going to see a little increase in cloud cover for the weekend. Look what happens with the smoke. This stuff comes in Thursday afternoon and evening and then just wafts in and settles in for our Friday. Now, the good news is it will thin out and move out come Saturday as we watch a little bit of a southerly flow develop and it's gonna push that smoke back out of the region. So tomorrow, beautiful. A few clouds over the southeastern corner, really, really nice. But look what happens starting Friday night into Saturday. You'll see a little push from the south with some cloud cover and on Saturday afternoon, a few little pop-ups possible over the southern mountains. That's the beginning of this little southerly push. It gets rid of the smoke, but it does introduce a few little showers as we head through the holiday weekend. So just be advised, stay tuned to the forecast. It, the potential's there for a few little uh, unsettled days as we head on through the Labor Day weekend. Sunset tonight's at 8.05, nice and clear all the way through the evening. Delightful temperatures once that sun sets, dropping back into the 70s. Forecast for northern Utah, or excuse me, southern Utah tomorrow. We're looking at sunshine in Nephi and Richfield to 86 degrees in sunny skies. Other areas, St. George to 99, Mesquite to 104 tomorrow with 80s in Monticello and 90s in Moab. Here's your seven-day forecast for St. George. 99 on Thursday, up to 101 on Saturday. Labor Day, we'll see a few clouds lingering around and still 100 degrees in St. George, but no major storm, St. George. There may, though, be a few little buildups and some pop-up thunderstorms around Kanab and over towards Lake Powell through the weekend, so we'll keep our eyes on that. Forecast in the north, 81 in Logan. Spanish Fort goes to 85. How about Utah County? Provo, 81 tomorrow. Should be a nice day. Eagle Mountain will go to 81. Salt Lake City to 85. And your seven-day forecast, 80s turn to 90s. Smoky for the next two. Then some clouds filter in Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. A nice Labor Day, although a little warm. Average is 88. will be 94 degrees. So above average. Not record-breaking, but above average for the holiday. Okay. Kind of feels like summer's hanging on a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Thanks. You bet. We'll be right back.